protection, my beautiful Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on. There is so much energy taking place right now. Celestial, Celestially, uh, we are experiencing the Scorpio full moon. We are also... Um, we have two planets, Mer uh, Mercury as well as Pluto, that are both retrograde. We've just experienced that eclipse energy. We're still uh, dealing with that current. Uh, and we have uh, Taurus season that we are all, um, you know, experiencing at this time. And so with Pluto and Scorpio full moon, you you absolutely are going to go through major shifts. Uh, you may be feeling renewed at this time. Uh, you may be really rejuvenating your spirit. So maybe you are uh, being more tender with yourself, being more loving with yourself. Uh, perhaps you're taking more spiritual baths or you're out in nature more. Uh, maybe you are, you know, going to the ocean now that it's getting warmer or going by bodies of water, just purifying your energy and recharging your batteries. Uh, but I feel there's fresh perspectives and I also feel, as I said, there's like changes and shifts. So there could be deaths of old belief systems, old concepts, ideologies, uh, maybe even getting rid of um, and purging uh, people, places and things that no longer serve you. Uh, I feel this energy, like I said, of renewal. Um, there has to be something that ended. So if you all have experienced Aquarius, uh, some some painful losses, uh, that was all in divine timing. It was all preordained and it was destined for those things to be ushered out of your life so that you can embark upon uh, this brand new venture and, um, you know, start this new voyage. So I feel beautiful energy, new beginnings, absolutely across the board. Uh, some of you all uh, may be really feeling at this time, you know, that you may want to take a step back to just really uh, sit with your energy. So perhaps meditating and uh, just grounding yourself right now, you may find yourselves really just grounding yourself because maybe you have been up in your head a lot in your head space, um, doing a lot of thinking or a lot of analyzing. Uh, and now it's like you're you're decompressing and uh, taking time to meditate or taking time to just recharge, reset, rejuvenate. Uh, your spirit. So we're going to see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Uh, it is currently 10, uh, 56 on the clock. And we have Jodeci come and talk to me uh, playing on the playlist. So 10, 56, that reduces to three because 56 reduces to 11. That's two. And that 10, that reduces to 1. So that's 3. So for some of you all, uh, someone may see you as very fine or very dapper, very debonair. Uh, 3 is associated with the Empress energy. Uh, even if you're masculine, that would mean that you are in, uh, you know, that Emperor energy. Someone who's very, uh, very action-oriented, very much a leader, a boss. Um, some of you all may have a history or a background in security, law enforcement, uh, military. Um, maybe some of you all are dealing with a boss at your job, or maybe perhaps this could be a husband, a father figure, or a wife uh, that you're dealing with, um, a maternal or paternal energy. Uh, that energy, uh, empress and emperor, they are uh, definitely uh, very powerful, very self-aware. Uh, they master manifest, so they turn thoughts into realities. They're seen as the creatives, uh, the divine masculine and divine feminine energy of uh, the deck, of the tarot deck. And so there is this attraction. Uh, you could be drawing a lot of attention to you right now, Aquarius, in something that you may be doing. Maybe you are, uh, as I said, uh, working on something creatively or artistically that is going to put you in the spotlight. I feel like you're tapping into uh, your divinity or uh, connecting to your higher self 
to create uh, you're birthing something new so you could be on the precipice of launching uh, a new business or perhaps you are adding uh, a new product to your line of um, of inventory perhaps if you already have a business perhaps some of you are pursuing uh, some new endeavor within your career or seeking out some sort of promotion or maybe you are um, exiting uh, some some job or leaving a job to pursue a dream or to pursue something that you uh, feel a lot of passion for. I feel there's something that is igniting within you. Um, there's a passion that's igniting within you uh, and there's also this desire there's this this desire to to uh go at it full steam ahead so i'm strongly getting a, a, a sense of you feeling um very excited you know very happy about this new junction in your life very happy about where you're headed where things are going so let's see what we have um on the playlist Let's see what we got. Okay, so it's um, Father Figure is Playing, and this is by George Michael. So some of you could be dealing with uh, someone named Michael or George, first, middle, and last, with Father Figure. As I said, this could be perhaps your mother or father, um, or your father, excuse me, uh, your children's father. Um, so this is someone that was like a paternal energy or a patriotic energy. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have judgment. And so with judgment, there were some, there was something that you may have dealt with karmically, you know, and it, this has provided you some sort of wake up call. Uh, perhaps there is someone from your past or a situation from your past that has brought a lot of um, perhaps clarity. Someone is seeing something different, I feel. Um, they're getting a wake-up call. There's even a desire, uh, perhaps, to um, to approach you, you know, to approach you, to say something. Maybe someone uh, had to go through some sort of uh, some sort of karmic in order to see something for what it truly is. But let's see what we got. So on the split, we have the Queen of Cups and then we have Judgment here. So I feel that there was some healing. I definitely feel uh, that some of you all have been um, experiencing what I feel is uh, learning karmic lessons because I see there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There appears to be like six, six people here. So maybe there were six people that were of significance. This could be family members. Um, this could be colleagues. This could be even friends, your friend group. I feel like there was some sort of wake up call when it was in relation to some of these connections that you may have walked away from. I feel like you saw something in these individuals. Maybe you were very loyal to these individuals and they may have treated you in a way that wasn't fair. Uh, what's showing underneath that is the nine of wands. So you may have put distance between yourself and these individuals. I felt like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you've given people chances to show you something or to um, to show up uh, to show up with some sort of respect, you know, to to show appreciation to value you and the connection and you may have been dealing with someone who could have been emotionally stunted um, someone who was not loyal I feel like you showed up very loyal in this scenario and now you're seeing something for what it truly is you had some sort of wake-up call uh, in regards to those six individuals or maybe there were six times that someone disappointed you and that's why you were feeling overwhelmed and you have established boundaries we have the high priestess here so I do feel like it was imperative for you to trust your intuition or maybe you discovered some hidden agenda or some hidden motive. Uh, we have the four of wands. So you this could be, like I said, like a family. This could have been could have been someone that you lived with. This could have been uh, someone that you, you know, uh, built uh, uh, you know, some sort of nucleus or a family with that uh, four of wands. 
uh, and now I'm seeing the moon so there could have been some lies that were exposed maybe during this full moon uh, you may uh, you know have some sort of epiphany uh, as I said this is going to uh, be a time where you're going to start noticing a lot of people are being uh, purged and and um, you know kind of like um, ushered out of your life a lot of circumstances are going to start changing Aquarius so let's tap in tune and see what the cards have to say spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarius and I just saw 1028 on the the clock so that does confirm what I said endings uh, every ending denotes a new beginning I feel good with that sh shuffle so we're going to cut the deck so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages do you have for our beautiful Aquarius? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. And we have usher. So just as I said, something being ushered out of your life, this is called you got it bad. So I do feel like you realize you were getting the short end of the stick. You know, you were getting the short end of the stick, pos um, you know, uh, consistently. And as I'm speaking of sticks, we got the Eight of Wands, so you may have left a situation quickly. We have this Ace of Pentacles, so I do feel like you have a fresh start financially. Uh, something you have been working on is something you have been manifesting and creating uh, as that Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It is bringing in abundance. It's bringing in security, stability, uh, financial fulfillment. I feel like you may receive some sort of... Um, this could be like a promotion. This could be a raise. This could be just abundance um, overall because I see not only this Ace of Pentacles, but I see a rabbit. And I saw a rabbit the other day, and rabbits are typically, um, you know, they they symbolize and represent uh, prosperity, luck, um, fertility even. Uh, so this is a beautiful energy that which shows that you have worked very hard to achieve whatever you are um, whatever you're receiving, it's like you've earned this. It's like spirit is rewarding you because the ace is always uh, a gift coming from, you know, source, from universe, from the, from the divine. Uh, with this eight of wands, I feel it's coming quickly. You know, I feel like this is something coming quickly. Uh, this could be some quick news. Uh, this is abrupt changes as well. Uh, this could even speak to you relocating moving or maybe there is someone rushing in towards you but i'm also just strongly getting the sense of news like some some news that's coming in and it's in regards to this uh this this money this abundance the ace of pentacles really speaks to um living a lap of luxury living a life um where you have no no financial concerns you're very financially um free stable you have an infinite supply better days ahead uh this speaks to you creating this this um this expansion in your life this this growth so this is beautiful so let's see who or what is our beautiful aquarius attracting to them may have a message of peace power and protection who or what is our beautiful aquarius attracting to them you got two messages that flew and so we have the six of pentacles so I do feel that there are, are some generous offers. Uh, perhaps in the past, you may have dealt with, um, you know, someone who could have been kind of treating you uh, like an option, kind of breadcrumbing you. We have Janae um, Iko, and this is called Stranger. So someone could have literally been very distant, very flighty, kind of breadcrumbing you because they had a lot of other um, options. So they didn't really appreciate and value you. It's almost as if they didn't notice um, your worth or they didn't realize um, the importance of, of cultivating and nurturing the connection with you. Uh, what we have that flew out is we have the three of pentacles. So this is really, uh, you got a lot of pentacles showing up and we are in uh, Taurus uh, season, which is, you know, earth 
that earth sign, that earth energy. So I am gathering that your hard work is paying off. Whatever you are attracting to you, it's like you're you're forging new alliances, partnerships. Perhaps you will be networking with some people. Uh, I feel like strangers are going to prove to be more loyal than folks that you have known for a long time because people see your worth and value or they may they can see your vision and they're going to want to collaborate and partner up with you because they see how determined and how hard you work and your hard work is absolutely going to pay off uh, what you're attracting to you is I feel success the hierophant is here so this could also speak to someone wanting to come in and forge perhaps a partnership or a commitment like someone could see and envision marriage. This could be a proposal, an engagement ring even because this ace of pentacles, pentacles are tangibles. So this is definitely uh, perhaps you're being rewarded and recognized uh, for something that you have mastered. The Hierophant is when you are seeking out higher learning or you are sitting at the feet of the elders to soak up wisdom, knowledge, um, affirmation, information. Uh, that is a very uh, studious energy. So whatever it is you're working on very tediously, very diligently, you're mastering your craft. The Hierophant speaks to also uh, spiritual um, you know, spiritual uh, wisdom, spiritual strength. Uh, this is also about institutions. So there is something that you may have learned, and I feel like you are um, improving that skill set uh, and learning more about it, learning more about how to uh, make that um, make it work for you. With this Six of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck, and we're about to pull uh, how this person or what this feels, um, how they feel about you, uh, whether it's a person or a circumstance which we're attracting to you, how they feel, it's like the Six of Pentacles. So this is like maybe now um, they're feeling like they need to secure this connection because maybe they could see where you're headed. They could see... Uh, who you are now so it's like now they're going to be more generous with their time or maybe they're going to start um, trying to uh, secure uh, this connection perhaps uh, but you are going to be very guarded uh, because you feel like you have been taken for granted I do feel like this is destined um, to, you know, like I said, things are going to be ushered out of your life and usher just was playing with you got it bad. Uh, so I do feel like um, what's being what's meant to leave your life is leaving. So let's tap in. So how does this person or how does this situation feel about our beloved Aquarius? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. And I just saw 1753, which is 88 on the clock. So let me get these cards. Three of them flew. Let me get them. Got them. So we have how they feel about you is the fool. So they do feel like perhaps they want to uh, try again. They want to start over. That seven that I just saw with 1753. Uh, reduces to 88, eight, which reduces to 16, which reduces to seven. So seven is the chariot. So maybe they see um, you now as someone that they want to have some sort of fresh start. Uh, zero is always like, you know, starting at ground zero. That is when you are in that, uh, that sacred space, you know, that's a sacred space of, um, you know, starting at that, that, uh, that starting at that, that, um, starting back with the self if that makes sense it's like you're getting back to the self so someone now uh, sees your change sees your transformation um, they're prepared to you know take some sort of action or to take that leap of faith because now they realize um, perhaps how foolish they may have been in not seeing your worth or seeing your value um, we also have the two of cups here so this is someone that now loves and appreciates you or now sees you as um, they're 
their divine counterpart, someone that provides a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of peace. They see you as someone that they can have this equal exchange of give and take. They see you as a star, as a wish fulfillment as well. I also feel like they love you deeply. They communicate perhaps with you intuitively. With the Ten of Swords, they do feel like they betrayed you. They do feel like they deceived you, like they backstabbed you. If you look at the swords, they appear to have like eyes. So this person could be kind of like watching you because you may be uh, very guarded. You know, perhaps you feel um, you're, you're, you've, you feel betrayed you feel backstabbed. You feel like this person has disappointed you. If you look in the background, there's these mountains. And mountains always denote, you know, difficulties in overcoming certain atrocities, overcoming certain challenges even. But even when you trusted folks, it was like those same people you trusted deceived you, betrayed you, backstabbed you, lied to you. What you have here is the Seven of Cups, what's hidden. So this is definitely that same energy. What's hidden is that person that had all these options. They thought the grass was greener on the other side, or they thought everything that glittered was gold. Someone didn't realize that everything that glitters wasn't gold. You felt overburdened in this connection because the more you gave, the more they took with no reciprocity. You also discovered there was a lot of lies. And as I said, you know, there's now this this ability to have this new start, this ability to move in the direction that you desire to go. But I feel someone has these secret desires to rekindle or to reconcile something with you. And what we have is uh, intro playing and it's called love thing. So, you know, I do feel like maybe someone with love thing and that ace of wands, someone could have been um, very lustful. You know, maybe this is why they were so distracted. Perhaps there were a lot of incubus succubus connections that someone had forged. They confused lust with love. This overburdened you. This you 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 carried the weight of the world on your shoulders, Aquarius, dealing with this person or dealing with you know this this flighty energy so let's see what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Aquarius let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what's hidden in the energy from my beloved thank you and there goes that chariot I was just speaking of with that seven that I saw earlier with the 1753 so yeah this chariot so what's hidden is I feel someone has finally uh, found the courage to approach you. I feel someone's rushing in because we remember we saw that eight of wands and I was feeling like there was some news coming in quickly. This also could just represent you, uh, you know, being very assertive, moving forward and um, feeling very balanced, very grounded. We have the sun on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like you have some happier days ahead of you. I feel like you are also, um, you know, you've healed your inner child. You know, maybe children are a factor, but I'm getting a strong sense of there being clarity or illumination. As I spoke of children, there is a page of cups here. So you may be, you know, maybe you have a child that has water in their chart. Maybe this is you, like I said, your inner child, healing your inner child. Maybe you have a dragon in your chart. You could be a uh, Chinese zodiac of uh, dragon. You could be born in the year of the dragon. And maybe someone... Um, and that's what you're, you're, you're transforming. You know, I feel like when you heal your inner child or when you, even as a parent, if you help your children uh, navigate certain traumas that they may have experienced, um, for instance, if there's like an absentee uh, parent, mother or father, uh, with father figure, I feel like this has strong emphasis on a father figure, that father figure played by uh, Michael, what was his name, Michael Douglas or I forgot, I'm sorry, but um, it definitely is, is giving, you know, a father figure that could have been absent. Someone that was, um, that didn't value, you know, their role as a father. Someone that didn't really perhaps even know how to be a father. Uh, with the sun here, we are in the sun sign of Taurus. So maybe some of you all are dealing with a Taurus as well. Or maybe you was just dealing with someone who could have been very bullheaded. I feel this clarity now. 
someone has some sort of illumination with this nine of cups here um I do feel like there's this sense of like the need to love yourself. Self-love is more attractive, um, but I also feel that you finding balance has allowed you to um, to love you first, to to show self-love, self-worth, self-discipline, um, self-care. You know, this is about being selfish as well, uh, prioritizing you. Maybe you were dealing with a father figure. Um, who had a drinking addiction, someone who uh, really didn't know how to navigate their emotions. They could have been emotionally uh, stunted, as I said. What we have also is the hermit. And if you look, there is a snake here, and it's in the symbol of the infinity symbol. And one thing we all do is we are always growing and evolving. Whatever isn't growing, it is dead. Uh, so I do feel like if you were dealing with a situation that wasn't evolving, you just felt yourself constantly going um, around and round in circles or you felt like you were in an emotional roller coaster ride. I feel like you're getting off because you are taking a step back and you're going into a very um, safe space, uh, enjoying your solitude because it allows for you to see things more clearly. Um, you're stepping away from all of the noise of the outside world so that you could be one with your thoughts. You realize the answers you seek are found within. And so as you observe or as you assess, as you reflect, as you do introspection, um, you will start noticing changes within yourself because you do start to take onus and accountability or you do start to identify um, whether it's toxic behavior uh, maybe you will be more prone moving forward to pay attention to, you know, those red flags. Um, but you will also be able to uh, see when you are dealing with some um, unsavory energy. I feel like you have the clarity now. I also feel you've discovered what your uh, dreams, hopes and desires are and you're no longer willing to settle. Um, I just see that, you know, once you come out of this hermit mode, you are going to uh, embark upon, uh, you know, achieving your goals and obtaining um, them as well. And this is going to make you feel very fulfilled. I also feel someone is rushing in uh, because they realize that you are a wish fulfillment. They realize they have love. They realize they love you. What we have on this bottom of the deck is the sun. So the sun does bring clarity. Uh, it's also representative of strength. So what is the outcome for my beloved Aquarius? And then we're going to wrap it up. And we have uh, Why You Treat Me So Bad by Club Nouveau. And so we have this card going this way. So I feel that's your message. And we have the King of Pentacles. So this could have been, again... You know, a father figure. Uh, it could be, could have been a husband, could have been a fiance or your children's father. If it's not a masculine energy, it could also be a feminine energy, a wife, a fiance, a girlfriend, um, perhaps a mother. I feel like there definitely is uh, some sense of someone kind of abusing their power because maybe they were um, the one that uh, was like the breadwinner, is what I'm hearing. Um, what we have here is temperance on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like, you know, finding that balance um, is very important because maybe someone is very materialistic. Uh, maybe someone is money motivated. Uh, maybe someone is very, um, they use their, their wealth as a means to manipulate people or to connive with why you treat me so bad as I said this could be like a husband or this could be um, a wife or a father uh, this is someone that obviously is wealthy and well off um, but they are very uh, selfish um, very self-absorbed it's me 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 I I I mentality uh, they have the ability to do better uh, but they're not necessarily grounded um, with moral values principles they're more so uh, they're more so motivated by the material so it's not someone that really focuses too much on 
the the nucleus of the family or the the um you know cultivating a relationship or building those roots um growing those roots rather they they're most so focused on money materialism um this is a very selfish individual and i feel like with why you treat me so bad i do get a sense of like this being someone uh, with club nouveau clubs are associated with uh, fire signs so i do get a sense that this could be a fire sign as well um that someone is dealing with that is very um self-absorbed uh they treat someone very unfairly and that is why i feel someone is uh going to be rewarded and when someone is rewarded i get a sense that there's this sense that someone's going to want to come back but i feel that you know if someone could betray you to this degree that's not someone worth you know in inviting back into your life or allowing back into your life so be very mindful if you are dealing with someone that treats you bad it is time to let go of that connection it is time to you know establish boundaries uh and to not allow a situation to uh repeat itself if someone doesn't know how to treat you then they don't deserve to be in your life if someone uh apologizes but they're still doing the same thing then that means that they have not even accepted or even taken accountability or responsibility for what they've done because if they did then they would know why they're apologizing and you would see their remorse through changed behavior that is the only apology i feel you all should accept um so just be mindful of that uh and as i'm speaking of apologies look who is playing <laughs> right now on the playlist we got beyonce sorry so i feel like someone is going to approach you uh and they're going to apologize and perhaps you have um free will to do what you must but i feel that spirit is saying with this sorry maybe someone does you know finally have that wake up call or see things clearly and they uh are coming in remorseful but you must trust your intuition especially uh with that queen of cups that showed up uh that queen of cups speaks to water energy uh water signs are very intuitive very psychic so i do feel like you are being told trust your intuition um and remain balanced because this 2 of cups is also, you know, that yin and yang energy is all about balance. Uh and perhaps, you know, if someone feels uh, like they've treated you like a fool or if someone is trying to come back for a new start, uh this could be someone that, you know, kind of betrayed you in the past. So be mindful uh because this is, you know, that energy is very very heavy. The 10 of swords to the back. This is, you know, not just one person. I was seeing multiple people on that judgment card uh so you may have uh, several people that may have betrayed you so it's very mind be be mindful of who you allow back into your life but this is your reading my beautiful beautiful aquarius i hope the message has resonated if you found that it did please be kind hit the like share subscribe button definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload and if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in Till next time, I send a big fat ashayo. Peace.